How's it going, Jack? Just bowling. Pretty much what you'd expect. All right, I can dig that. Glad to hear, man. Hey, yo, I know we've had our moments, but I definitely keep my eye on you, man. You know, it's, it's good to have someone to compare yourself against, you feel me? True that. But you shouldn't have picked someone so much better than you. <laughs> it makes comparing almost impossible. Stop playing, man. Oh, oh. Yo, yo, yo. So what's up? We're going to have a little friendly competition this game or what? All right, I'm down. What you thinking? Whoever gets outscored has to post something super nice about the other dude all over social media. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yo, good luck. You're going to need it. <laughs> Come on, man. It's easy money. Hey, Jack. Think about what you're going to say about me, man. All right. All right. The imposing edifice is towering over downtown Philadelphia. And the view, enough to give you vertigo. We'll be bringing you an interconference matchup in this one as the Mavericks are coming to town. Here in Philadelphia, it's another home game for the 76ers. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. This game should be a good one. And guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from Monte Ellis in this one? Well, Ellis is one of the most acrobatic finishers in the NBA, Kevin. His ability to... We've got 155 left to play here in the first. Ellis against Anderson. Kicks to Blair. Shoots. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. Boy, beautiful assist. That's a couple of teammates clearly on the same page. Hey, there was no question about it. Everybody knew Dewan Blair had talent when he came into the NBA, but people were scared off because he had no ACLs in his knees. A valid reason if you look at it from that standpoint, but he continues to prove the detractors wrong by still being in the league. Now what's the pass to D'Alembert? Stolen away. And here's Anderson, right now averaging seven points a game. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. And for Dewan Blair, it started to become difficult for him to carve out minutes with all the front court talent the Spurs have. Yeah, now on a new team, uh, getting a better opportunity. And you know his rebounding ability will always been there. That's something that translated directly from his days at Pittsburgh. Uh, but can his health stand up? Can his knees hold up? If they do, he's a very valuable player. Here's Mr. Clutch. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Mr. Clutch has got five now. Wow, just a tremendous first quarter shooting the basketball for them, guys. Yeah, when they put it up, it's gone in. All alone. And he drops that one in. Both teams on fire right from the opening tip. Pedal to the throttle, Steve, just like we like it. Connects from three-point range. Eight points for him. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Ellis dishes to Blair. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Blair's got his third bucket of the night. Looking at Philadelphia, they want to turn it around after the loss to Cleveland. And Kevin, when you don't take advantage of your trips to the free throw line, which they definitely did not, it's tough to recover from. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, they left a lot of cheese and lettuce at that foul <laughs> line, partner. <laughs> not to mention some ham and turkey, but <laughs> way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing. And one. The Mavericks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Both good from the line that time. Just four seconds left to play in the first. Here's Mr. Clutch. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter.
at the second quarter beginning in just a moment. On the floor for Dallas. Ellis is out there with Ellis. Then there's Blair. Then it's Dallenbear. And it's Crowder in at the three spot. Ellis goes in. Ellis outside. Dishes it to Crowder. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. Crowder's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Well, there's a new ownership group in Philadelphia as of 2011. And in this offseason, they pulled the trigger and brought in new leadership in the front office. Looks like they're jumping on the analytics bandwagon, hiring the former brain trust of the Houston Rockets. And there's the call on Jackson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Tough call there and a tough break for the defense. But you know, I think you could still see him kind of sliding in there. I don't have a problem with the call. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Right, he's checked in for Blair. And it's Calderon in for Crowder. Lock at six, Ellis goes in. Well, he can be fun to watch because of how agile he is. He spends a lot of time in the air. <laughs> he does levitate in addition to elevate. He can do some special things up top with the ball. He'll take off for the hoop and double clutch or switch hands, and it doesn't fool with his accuracy at all. That's a familiar sight. He hardly ever wastes his chances at the line. Cashes in regularly. Here's Mr. Clutch. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And back to the Sixers. I guess for the Wall Street ownership group, going mathematical is something they were, you know, stay pretty comfortable with. Well, it's something that a lot of teams are going to now, Kevin. Uh, you know, the, the new owners, a lot of them uh, businessmen, they want to turn to math to try to figure this whole thing out. Bottom line, though, is it, it's a combination. It's not just stats. It's talent, stats, chemistry, coaching, a lot of things that goes into winning. Here's Noel, and that one's good. Noel's got his second basket of the night. Rebounds are split just about down the middle in this game, Clark. I'd venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. Ellis against Jackson. From past the arc, and it's Calderon that time on the assist from Monte Ellis. Calderon's got his first three points of the game. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Yeah, well, 10 of their last 12 points have come off of assists. Mr. Clutch, and he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Now here's Ellis. It's blocked. So a tie game here as we... Finish the first. Kevin, I'm here with Rick Carlisle and Coach. And now, brought to you by Sprint. The weekend. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And now, the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. You look at Mr. Clutch, he's really been playing well. Yeah, his performance really. Well, it was the Dallas Mavericks winning their last game against the Heat. Yeah, it took some time. Uh, this was not an easy win, but mark it down in the W column. Yeah, and it was impressive, Steve, the way they handled their business in the overtime. I mean, they had a lot left in the tank. Mr. Clutch in its shooting guard. Young is out there with Beasley. Then it's Carter Williams, and it's Sims in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. The shot's good for Mr. Clutch. Well, the pick worked really well there. Nice job taking it right to the 10 for the layup. Now here's Ellis. Defense is right there. Novitsky kicks to Marion. Pass to Mr. Clutch. That's good. And now just a three-point Maverick lead. Well, you look back to the last time these two players played against each other. Remember, he just took apart Jackson Ellis. Yeah, and Ellis really didn't have an answer for him as he put on a clinic against him. Just took him right to school.
Kicks it out to Beasley for the tie. Rebounded by Ellis. Ellis has got six rebounds now in the game. Ellis right side. Nowitzki the pass to Marion. Ellis outside. Nowitzki with the screen on Young. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And a chance here to check out the all-time single season leaders in assists per game. The Utah Jazz's John Stockton, the featured player. Yeah, and Isaiah Thomas cracking that top five. This is one of those stats where you have to credit the teammates, too. you got to have shooters and finishers to complete the play. And those two, of course, played on some great NBA teams. Samuel Dallenberg has checked in for Dallas. Light comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. A chance here, Kevin, to take a look at the 76ers and how they rank in the NBA right now. Sixth in blocks, 10th in steals, and they're in the top half of the league in team rebounding as well. They've got some glass eaters on that squad. And this is a team that really relies on those blocks that you talked about, Clark, because uh, when they're at their best, they're really challenging every shot. They cover up, they close out on jump shooters, and if you penetrate and get to the rim, they've got a host of shot blockers there waiting for you. Ellis dishes to Ellis. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. Ellis has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. No good from Mr. Clutch. Mavericks leading by five. Ellis in the post. He's got 22. Stolen by Anderson. Here's Williams. Passes it to Mr. Clutch. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Samuel D'Alembert picks one up. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the officials. Well, they've been shooting their free throws with confidence and knocking them down. That's giving them an edge, no question about it. Here's Ellis. And no luck. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game, neither team giving ground. The Mavericks on top, up three. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. And a moment now as we take a look at our... Our State Farm assist... The Mavericks trailing on the floor right now for the Mavericks. Marion and Nowitzki at the forwards. Ellis is out there with Ellis, and it's Brand in at the five, down low. Ellis kicks to Marion. The drive by Ellis. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Well, Monte Ellis has never been short on confidence, and last year he went as far as comparing himself to Dwayne Wade, saying the only difference between them is that Wade has rings. That's a pretty big difference, though. And you talk about the talent and confidence for Monte Ellis. Steve, what's the balance between confidence and, and like, overconfidence? Well, I think the balance is in your decision-making, and that's the trickiest thing for really talented young players to figure out. It's just when to attack and when to back off a little bit. And that's all stuff that just comes with experience. Oh, and here we go. Ellis has got it the fast break chance. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Here's Mr. Clutch. Launches a three. The 76ers with another miss. Defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Nowitzki, the pass to Brand. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Mavericks. Guys, how about all the second chance points they've been able to convert throughout this game? They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. 
There's Mr. Clutch. He's guarded by Ellis. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Just absolute domination in this one for Mr. Clutch. He has 18 points, and he's produced six points from the free throw line. That's nice work. Uh, he's helping their cause, finding some easy points through uh, penetration and attacking the defense. They're locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not a miss yet. And they're going to have to continue that pace, Clark, because they're down, and anytime you're losing, you've got to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have. Novitski against Young. Got a piece of it. Young with the steal. Second half for them. They have not taken good care of the ball. First half, they did a pretty nice job, but it's gotten away from them here a little bit. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds thus far. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game eventually. Ellis, that's good. And what jumps out at you guys, the assist total. I mean, they have been dominant in that category it's the ball movement the player movement the great rhythm to their offense clearly seems to me a different mindset between these teams here's mr clutch the 76ers again can't hit it i think the game plan needs to change here guys if they're going to get out of the hole because he is not helping their offense what a smooth finish well he's certainly the one they want on the end of those breaks he always finishes strong and he gets it to go. Mr. Clutch has got four points now in the quarter. Well, every once in a while, he'll show us some pretty good moves around the hoop. Mavericks leading by six. Ellis dishes to Ellis. We've got 113 left in the game. Back to Ellis. Marion against Jackson. Five to shoot. And the basket by Nowitzki. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's keyed this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. The defense hasn't been able to set up. Here's Mr. Clutch. He's guarded by Ellis. The dish to Richardson. Here's Noel. It's rebounded by Ellis. Well, the defender was on him like glue all up in his airspace. That's a very low percentage shot against that kind of deep. Yeah, you're right. Best not to force it when you've got someone draped all over you like that. you got to move the ball on. And this game is finally getting away from them. Yep, it has gotten away. There's not really anything they can do now. Now the Mavericks with it. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Back to Ellis. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by nine. So he gets them both. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Here's Mr. Clutch. No good. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. And... How did it feel putting on that new uniform tonight? Has it even sunk in that you're playing for a new team now? It was beautiful, man. I was so ready to get out of this situation I was in before that anything would look better. But things have exceeded my expectations here already. The guys all seemed really happy to have me on board, and I feel like they already understand the way I like to play the game. We have a chance to do something really special here. And I'm just glad to have gotten it started. Hey, why are you looking like that? Well, you know that business deal you kicked down a while back? 
Yeah, why? I did a little investigating and apparently those guys barely got started on that movie. Best I can tell, the whole project just fell apart soon after you met with them. It's a tough break, man. Whoa. So that's it? All my money's just gone like that? Yeah, pretty much, man. You gotta be careful where you invest your money. Just keep that in mind next time one of these deals come around, all right? Yeah, man, you know I will. All that money? <laughs> 